I know, let's get this train. Oh. Do you even want to be doing this? I, I don't know, for me, it sort of feels like a complete waste of time. But I also feel like I'm sort of missing out on something that's new to YouTube. And it's this. It's called YouTube Sort. The Sorts? <laughs> It's called YouTube Shorts and YouTube Shorts are vertical or portrait videos served on mobile devices. YouTube says that any video that's portrait and under 60 seconds will automatically be pulled into the shorts shelf. And that's not easy to say. And these YouTube Shorts are offered on mobile devices on the homepage and they also show up on our channel page, subscription feed and what to watch next, just like regular videos. Now someone kindly asked me, are YouTube Shorts the same as YouTube Stories? I had no idea how Stories and Shorts are different, so I had to look it up. YouTube Stories also show up on your mobile. They, they look like these Instagram-y or TikTok-y quick videos from big YouTubers. So the differences I could find are that stories expire after seven days. And <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> and stories are only for creators who have over 10,000 subscribers. Whereas I think YouTube Shorts exist on our channel forever, just like a regular video. It's hard enough for me to just make normal videos for my YouTube channel without having to do shorts as well. So I promise I'm gonna get you and me through this as quickly as possible. And I'm doing this on a desktop just to give us an overview of what YouTube Shorts is. You can do this on your phone using an app like InShot or even from the YouTube app itself once it's rolled out. By the way, hello, welcome back to The Happy Huts. My name's Neil Mossy. I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and into the world right here on YouTube. Usually I make videos for other companies, but I'm finally doing it for myself so I know exactly what you're going through. And right now, I want to turn this clip into a short. I know, let's get this train. By the way, I absolutely love this guy's reaction. This guy here. <laughs> I usually hate vlogging in public and he's pretty much the reason why. <laughs> now we can do this on a phone using an app like InShot, but I'm doing this on a computer by making it sideways in a Mac in iMovie and then I open that with QuickTime and rotate the video left. I have no idea how you do this on a PC. Please leave a comment below and tell me what you use for editing on a PC. So I've now got my vertical video. I know, let's get this train. Oh. And it has to be under 60 seconds for it to go onto the hashtag shorts shelf. This is what the shorts shelf looks like. Next, we can upload it in the regular way, either by clicking the camera icon at the top of youtube.com or clicking on the create button at the top of YouTube Studio. So this uploads in the regular way and we'll add a description, tags, recording dates, even subtitles and closed captions. You seem to be able to add cards, but not an end screen. But you can put your shorts video into a playlist and you can even make your own shorts playlist. For a title, YouTube advises putting hashtag shorts, that's with an S on the end, in either the title or the description to give it a better chance of being spotted. But YouTube says shorts are any portrait video under 60 seconds. So is this something you think you'll try? Why not put your hashtag shorts experiments in the comments below and link to them there. We'd love to see them. Hey, maybe I should have done this video as a short. Oh.